First at five, a wide swath of Oregon is just two days away from a tightening of COVID-19 restrictions. And this is a big shuffle too. Multnomah County is among the counties entering the extreme risk category. And this is happening for the first time in more than two months. Let's get right to our Fox 12's Brenna Kelly. She's joining us now live. And Brenna, you heard from two Portland restaurants, which will have two very different experiences starting when this all begins on Friday. That's right, Bonnie, and that's because one nuance the governor included in her announcement yesterday was that outdoor capacity for restaurants moving into extreme risk could increase from 50 people to 100 people. One restaurant that has a positive change because of this is The Botanist in Northwest Portland, and that's because they've been indoor dining since the pandemic hit. They really won't have to adjust much. Jonah Kobayashi, the assistant general manager, says they've been operating on an 8,000 square foot rooftop deck space which allows for ample seating while still spaced eight feet apart. They also offer live music, comedy and drag brunches. We've uh, established a very safe environment here and we do our utmost in order to um, enforce the uh, social distancing and the wearing of masks. But it hasn't necessarily affected us as much. Sad to say we have um, lots of friends in the industry that aren't going to be able to do as well. And one restaurant which revolves around its indoor history is Huber's in downtown Portland. They can only accommodate 20 people outside. And while the vice president, David Louie, tells us he's hoping to add a couple more tables to his outdoor seating, their move into extreme risk is only going to hurt. It's going to make us lose money. Um, I can't generate that much revenue from just a few tables outside. I just hope that they stop the lockdowns. It's time to stop it. As you can see, two very different opposite stories from these two restaurant employees. Many, many restaurants in Multnomah County are going to be in the same position as Huber's, as you saw there, unable to utilize the 100 person change for outdoor capacity. Both people we heard from today are hoping for a quick exit from the extreme risk category. Reporting live in Portland tonight, Brenna Kelly, Fox 12 Oregon.